Everybody, it's Renee from the Garden Frog Boutique. I'm showing you my beautiful houseplant gardenia that I have managed over the winter to grow and have it form all these buds. However, to my horror of being a green thumb and a gardener, is it has been infested basically for the last six weeks with aphids, white flies, spider mites, and armored scale. Now, I want to show you from this leaf that I picked off. See the spider web? That's a sign of spider mites usually. Then, if you want to keep looking, I'm showing you right where my thumbnail is. Um, that's armored scale. It looks like a little tiny dot white and it kind of feels like a, uh, a shell. Then, if you look upon close, aphids usually attack the buds and younger leaves. And white flies, the white specks. Now, it's oily right now because I sprayed with neem oil a couple hours ago. And as you can see from the back side of the leaf, it's covered in aphids. This is no laughing matter, and, and having a bug infestation isn't a one-time fix either. It's a repeated process of spraying with neem oil, showering the plant with Dawn or ivory soap, and repeating and letting the plant sit, and four days later, it, they could reoccur which has happened here. And another sign that a plant is in distress, and I'm going to show you, is see how the leaves are colored. They're more of a gold and with the green veins. And this shows you that this plant is under distress. See how the, the colors are starting to fade in and out? And look at this bud. It, it's just coated. Um, but when you handle a plant like this and you're done, wash your hands. Do not touch any other plant. Do not, because you'll just keep spreading the white flies and the aphids and the spider mites and the scale. So even gardeners, even green thumbs get bugs. But I want you to know there still is hope. And I'm still hoping that I can eradicate the bugs so my beautiful gardenia can bloom. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll talk to you soon.